Hello, I'm Rafus, I'm a very dedicated Shao main, and today I want to talk about a discussion that has been happening in the community about Shao synergy with Furina. Is Furina an improvement for Shao teams? If so, for how much? How do Shao teams with Furina compare to the old ones? I did a test with four popular teams and two Furina teams to come to my own conclusions, and I decided to share them with you. The four popular teams are Hyper Carry, Double Pyro, Sunfire, Double Geo. And the two Furina teams are Shao, Parison, Furina, and Bennett Origin. So, let's get started. First, we have the classic Hyper Carry team. Zongli's shield provides incredible comfort and is definitely the easiest team to use, as you don't have to worry about being interrupted by heavy hits. However, Zhongli's resistance strategy lost some of its value due to the fact that Farazan also has it in her base kick. Also, without Farazan's C6, this team's energy regeneration is not very good. Now, this team here is the complete opposite of comfort. Here, we trade the shield for Shanling's off-field damage, and it looks very strong in theory. And in fact, it is! But putting together a Shanling build that satisfies her energy hunger and also deals good damage can be difficult. However, we're talking about Shanling, and a lot of people already have a high invested Shanling anyway. This team is a classic, it used to be Shao's best team before Farzan's release, and it's still a great team if her advantage is on the other side. Alberto's damage is a little higher than people give credit for, and also he's a pretty decent battery too. However, some enemies can break his flower and mess up with her rotation, so keep that in mind. Energy issues and survivability issues simply do not exist in this team. You need to break an Electro Shield or a Cryo Shield, this is your team. If you have C4 gene, this is by far the team with the highest damage potential so far in this video. But even with our C4, the damage is good enough. Now let's see these two Furina teams, and since they are so similar, let's keep to the direct comparison. Here we have Jin on the left and Bennett on the right. Jin has better synergy with Furina than Bennett, as she can provide way more stacks for Furina's burst, but Bennett's attack buff is so massive that it makes the team's damage potential a little higher. That being said, keep in mind that Jin can heal the entire team, and she is a great animal battery, plus you're not stuck to her healing field like you would be with Bennett. Unless of course you have her C4, but if you have her C4, then she will be the clear winner of this comparison anyway. Now we have the final comparison between Shao's best teams before and after Furina. But keep in mind that my Furina here is not as high invested as my Shan Ling, so there is still a little bit of a room for improvement. It looks like we have a winner, but if you want to know the true potential of this team, such a weak boss is not enough. Let's take this fight to some bigger fish. about you, but I already have a new favorite Shao Jin. I've already got Furina C1, and maybe one day I'll get her C2, but before activating her constellations, I would like to get Fires on C6 and experience how strong the scene would be before going free to play unfriendly. If Fires is not on Shao's next banner, I swear, I'm gonna go crazy. Some might even say I would LAMENT! 